In this demo, we will showcase how to deploy Quay on OpenShift with an externally managed database using the Quay operator. Make sure you've watched the video showing the batteries included Quay install before this one. By default, when a Quay registry is created, the Quay operator assumes all components should be enabled and managed. However, there are times when you want Quay to use an existing piece of infrastructure, such as an RDS database. Additionally, you might want to disable container image security scanning for your registry. In both cases, the solution is to mark that component as unmanaged. For this demo, we have a Postgres database running on Google Cloud Platform that we would like to use for our Quay installation instead of the operator managed database, which would be deployed on the same Kubernetes clusters as Quay. First, we'll create a Quay registry object like normal except we want to disable Clare image security scanning this time. To do this, we mark the Clare component as unmanaged. This tells the operator not to deploy any Clare-related resources and to add or remove the necessary values to Quay's config. We'll leave the Postgres component as managed initially and then use the config editor to unmanage it once everything is deployed. Let's wait until Quay is fully deployed. Notice there are no Clare pods created. Quay is up and running. Let's use the Quay config editor to provide connection details to our GCP database instance. The config editor is protected by password, which can be found in a secret referenced by status.configeditor credentials secret. Let's find the database section of the config and fill in our details. We need to mark the database as unmanaged in order to edit the fields. Now we'll have the config editor validate our input. Great, our input is validated. Now we'll submit our new config to the Quay operator which will take care of creating a new config bundle secret, mounting it into the Quay app pods, and initiating the rollout. After the new Quay pod is passing its readiness checks, we can click on the status.registry endpoint field to access the Quay UI. Remember, we haven't begun using Quay yet, so we need to create a user. Let's push a simple image using our Docker client to confirm everything is working.
We can see that the container we pushed appears in the Quay UI now. Also notice that there is no security scan column because we disabled Claire by marking it as unmanaged. This has been a quick look at using unmanaged components with a Quay container registry on OpenShift using the Quay operator. Thanks for watching.